Hi. I want to talk to you first of all about my background because there's been a little bit of confusion about it. I signed up at Frank Woolsey's uh, somewhere early 1969, probably January 1969, and studied and worked there for about five years. And then I went to Jimmy H. Woo's out in Elmani and studied with him for another 15 years. When I was in high school, Frank and Jimmy decided to open up a school together, Jimmy paying for the building and Frank doing the teaching. And they devised a system together that would teach a person how to fight really good in just three years. And that consisted of Asu, the combat Asu, Fuka, Toliho, and Nampai. And so the first thing, when I signed up at Frank's, the first thing he taught me was lesson Asu. And then he taught me white, and white belt technique one. But the first thing he said to me is that you want to stand sideways to your opponent before you begin these moves. And one of the reasons is, if I'm standing here facing you, everything I like about myself is exposed. And it's really hard to protect all this stuff. You know, if, but as soon as I turn sideways, all the stuff I like about myself turns facing this way, and now I'm facing this way, and it's much easier to protect yourself in this position here. So some people uh, say, and let me just go this first, if you're being approached by an opponent and you're facing forward, all you really have to do is step back to this position here, or step forward to this position here, and you're now turned sideways. But if the opponent is already in front of you, when you're standing in this position here, you're pretty vulnerable. And so I would recommend that you just turn sideways here. Now, I have been told by people that this would give away your element of surprise. And even if it does, I don't believe that it does because it's such a nonchalant move here. But even if it does, there's not a damn thing he can do about it anyway because you're now in a position of power. And if he's facing you forward, he's in a position of weakness. So I'm going to highly recommend that you turn sideways. Now, another reason is this. When I'm facing you forward, I'm in a regular state of mind here. And so we might be arguing, but I'm still uh, in the state of mind. As soon as I make this turn sideways, what this does is put me into a different mindset. It puts me in a combat mindset. And I have done this before when I have been approached by people. I've turned sideways. And if you're good at this art, they can look into your eyes and pretty much they will back off uh, because they see this power in your eyes. If they don't, you're standing in a position of power anyway, and it's easy to move forward with the power here. So anyway, what I'm... Well, the big point here is this. Always acquire a better position. If you're standing forward, turn sideways before the guy gets there. If he's already approaching you, turn sideways again. Now, if you turn sideways and he starts moving out this way, then he's trying to get you forward again. So he's probably a fighter, too, so you've got to be worried about that. So you're going to go ahead and continue to follow him and close in the gap. And if you decide that he is definitely looking for an opening, then you should attack him at that point there and save yourself. So anyway, acquire a better position, okay, and you're going to be much better off.